there welcome to my channel this is Rhonda and as you can see I have some yarn in front of me there's a whole bunch beside me because I wanted to show you the rest of what I got at Michael's uh, if you were watching you saw me um, open up a lot of yarn that was loops and threads and a couple of um, lion brand pound of love well I continued on with the sale and I purchased more long story I got phenomenal deals so I decided to go crazy and I bought a lot of yarn so I'd like to share with you what I got and then there are a couple of things I want to show you that I started working up and just my thoughts on them so hopefully we can do it in one sitting because I got I have a lot to show you so I may have to break it up in two separate videos I'll know as I go along so first of all I really wanted some cotton and some cotton blends going into the warmer months so that's what I was focusing on but I also looked at other yarns that would be good for the coming fall um, or the coming winter and that's okay because like I said I got a good price and it, it's great to stock up and hey I have a lot longer to look at it and appreciate it before I work it up into something so let's start and I'll start with this one I got a couple of the colors of the Caron cotton cakes um, this one is called beach glass and I thought it was really pretty there were some colors I was so so on um, and I I probably prefer solid colors for this particular one but I didn't see any this time around but that being said this is really pretty because it's got um, two different shades of the taupes and then two different shades of this really nice green and this cream color and it just looks really pretty and there is a pattern on here I don't see the pattern on this one but there was a pattern that I saw where you could see the color worked up and it was really nice so this particular one is um, this is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic it's really soft um, I think it would work up nice as a wearable uh, that being said I do have something to show you that I start working up and I'll I'll get into it once once I reach that point I'm not gonna say anything yet but um, so this one and excuse me I've got to take off my glasses so this one is a medium four but to me it works up more like a three and it's just a really neat texture um, I do have a polyester yarn which kind of reminds me of it's just um it looks like one strand to me so I'm not really sure what to call it but it is very soft and actually it's not one strand because when I look at it closer it's definitely got a twist to it but it must be tightly twisted let's see if I can show this to you without pulling everything apart it's gonna be hard it to show you. It kind of looks like it's a, a six ply. There's a lot of strands in here and they're so tightly woven that at first you don't notice it. Um, it actually might be five. I didn't even know there's such a thing but I'm gonna do my best to show you what it looks like. Can you see the strands in there? So, but the way it works up, you don't even notice any strands. It's certainly not splitty from my experience. Um, it is, there's a lot in it. It's 8.8 um, .8 ounces, 250 grams. There's 530 yards or 485 meters. So it does go a long way and it is machine washable and dryable, which is good. Considered a four weight recommended hook size is five millimeters if you're a knitter four and a half millimeters and um, so I got that color and the other color I got I've been using it so I I did get four of these um, the other three are wrapped in plastic so I just thought I'd show you what I have left of this so far but I'm going to show you it worked up so you'll see a little bit more but this one is called amethyst sky and I really liked it because of the 
lavender and the blue and the taupe and the cream. So you can see the color there. And yes, it's messy. So my apologies for that. But um, it's what I've left. But you will see a worked up sample. So I bought four of each of those colors and I'm going to move that out of the way. So those are a cotton acrylic blend. Then I went ahead and I really wanted to try these and I hope they don't disappoint the uh, Karen Cotton Funnel Cakes and the regular price is quite high $14.99 per cake but I did get them on a really good price so I just bought a bunch of different colors to see how they work up and I just tried a little swatch of one of them two of them actually so I can show you what it looks like it is a um a ripply type of yarn uh, there used to be Karen ripple cakes it's very similar to that so I'll show you the colors I bought and some of them was only one available so what I did is I tried to mix and match so I know I'm going to have enough that I can combine them this one, and before I tell you the colors I got, I'll just tell you the other specs and then um, I'll show you the colors. So this yarn, you can see what it looks like. You can see the ripples in it. It is 100% cotton. So it's not a blend. It's 100% cotton, but it's also machine washable and dryable, which I found really appealing because that's always a plus factor. And here it's the cotton Caron cotton funnel cakes. Okay, so 100% cotton. You can see that it's got twisted fibers. Right there. But it's all cotton. Sometimes you'll see with the twisted ones, they've got a certain percentage of other fibers because the twist in it is not the same, but obviously this is all cotton. It feels soft, soft enough. Um, and says it's a limited time only. I wonder how it's going to be, uh, if it's going to be discontinued. This color is called Fog, and this is considered a four medium weight, definitely more true to a four medium weight than the um, regular cotton cakes. When I worked them up, I did found out that this made a bigger swatch, so it's definitely um, a bigger yarn. Recommended crochet hook size, five millimeter, if you're a knitter as well, four and a half millimeter. Um, machine washable and dryable I said and it is 8.8 .8 ounce 250 grams 425 yards so if you compare to the cotton cakes it's also 250 grams with 530 yards whereas this is 425 yards so that tells you right there that it's definitely um, a thicker yarn even though they're both designated as four weight is there anything else I can tell you about this? They come with, they do come with patterns on the labels. I believe, I believe there's a pattern inside. Free pattern on label. So this one has a pattern for the crochet stair step shawl which looks pretty, so it's nice to know that it's crochet for all us crocheters. Honestly, I'm not a shawl person. I know people love shawls, but I just have never been a shawl person. Maybe one day I will become a shawl person. So anyways, I did buy several colors. There was only one of these, so I bought the one. And there was one of these. This one is a variegated a variety. It's called dandelion seed. You can see how they go together really nicely. So this one, this dandelion seed has the gray and the taupe mixed and there may be a couple of shades of the gray going from a lighter to a darker gray. So pretty. And to go with those I bought a couple of these cream ones and this is called um, cumulus so the gray I don't think I can hold all three up I will try I can't do it <laughs> I'll ha hold them against me but you can see how they would be so nice together sorry they're just too big for me to hang on to like that 
So I bought those colors. Try not to keep it in the way of the camera. Then I got this pretty blue, the variegated, and I always like to mix variegated with the solids because to make one garment in this variegated, I think would be really busy and I don't know that I'd like that. So I always like to pair it up with the solid. So I'll show you that in a moment, but you could see the varying shades of blue and I see, um, oh, three or four shades in there. Really nice shades of blue. You can see the fiber of it. And it feels really thick. I mean, you could tell there's a lot of, a lot of yarn in here. And this one is called Waterfall. And I paired it up and it does look like it matches to me. Um, there, there is a blue in it that is the same, so it will work together. This one, this one is um, called Calm Skies. So I do think they work together. But this one also works with something else that I bought. So I'm going to show you how I can interchange them. Okay. So I bought, I believe, two and two. And then I bought this color, which I think is really pretty. Lilac. And as you, uh, you Americans call it lilac. In Canada, we call it lilac, <laughs> just a bit of a different pronunciation. So bear with me on that. And this is really pretty. You'll notice that it has the blue in it, which makes it go really nice with the blue or with this color. And this color is thistle. So you can see how they go together. And if I wanted to put all three together, in a pattern. I could do that. And I was actually looking at a pattern where I want to do that. So let's see if I can do this. Can you see that? How they would really work well together? One more color of the funnel cakes. Um, and I, again, I did the variegated with the solid and I just love this color. It's so summery, so pretty. Uh, the variegated is called peaches. Look how pretty that is. It's got rose tones and coral and darker peach, like almost like an orange and light orange. Just so, so pretty. And look how it pairs with this one here, which is called coral. I love that combination. Whether I use just this color alone or paired with this, I just think they're beautiful. They'd be beautiful for a summer tote. They'd be beautiful for a little girl's outfit. They'd be beautiful for a summer top. I don't honestly know that I have enough for a top, but I just wanted to try out this color because I thought it is so pretty. Now, I really was considering getting True Boo. And then I heard other content creators talking about True Boo and I thought, mm, I should have gotten it. So I have some Kobu, which is really similar. So I thought I'd work it up to just compare. And I have a large project, so a large swatch that I have of the cotton cakes. Um, and I did take my swatch out, but the cotton cakes, when I worked up the swatch, worked out the same size as the Kobu, which I would imagine would be the same as the True Boo. Whereas the um, funnel cakes worked up bigger so I can show you those too but this is how and I it's just a double crochet stitch that I did and this is the Kobu very soft very drapey um, the Kobu is 51% cotton and 49% rayon from bamboo and I just have the one I don't know why I just bought one I think I wanted to try it at the time it was a long time ago pretty yellow if you're interested this one is and it's considered three weight and this one is just yellow number 157 yellow and very small 100 grams 232 yards 
very splitty, just like the Trubu, the Kobu, they're splitty, but I actually didn't mind working with it, so I think I should have ventured out and bought the Trubu, but next time. Anyways, that's the yellow. Now look at the size, and when I made a swatch with the cotton cakes, it turned out the same size, so that was good to know, just for substitution purposes and the funnel cakes look at the difference in the size of the swatches same stitches same number of stitches and it's different but I kind of like the texture of how that worked up it's not quite as soft as the um, true boot but it's very comfortable I can feel that as being really comfortable against the skin so I like it and it's still drapey enough. It may not be quite as drapey, but definitely it's good for garments. And I'm going to try that out. Now, um, before I go into the next yarns that are not cotton, I am going to show you what I have been making. I'm making a top. Um, I'm using a pattern. And I have some issues with the cotton cakes. And I'll probably keep working it up. And I may finish the garment. But I might have to make a trip to Michael's because I've got some concerns about this yarn. And this is my concern and I'm not sure if you'll see it right away. This is an, um, an extended single crochet, really pretty, very drapey. I like that. So you can take a closer look at it and see the stitches. Um, the stripes are okay. I think for a top, I'd prefer solids, but I like the color selection. But there's some weird things happening with this yarn, and I'm going to see if I can show you. Look at that. And I thought about taking it out, just cutting it out and restarting. And I thought, you know what? I really want to show you what happens with this yarn. And not only is this splash of color that just looked like somebody had messy paw prints and just put it on like maybe somebody was working with dye and they just touched it in the wrong place I don't know what to make of it but it's just bad and it just makes it look dirty and then look at the purples it's two different shades I don't believe it's supposed to be that way and I just am not loving the way that looks works up nicely um I found it, it really did glide nicely through the hook. Uh, I had no problem with that. The stitch definition is really pretty, but I'm having a real issue with the colors. They're just splotchy. And the local Michaels that I went to for some other issues I was having, I spoke to the manager and I'm sure if she saw this, she would be in complete agreement with me. So I'm actually thinking of trading it all out, seeing if I could work something out with her. I will probably try one more cake just to make sure, but I do remember somebody online having the same problem with this yarn. I don't know what's going on. And even some of it, it just looks like it's not, it doesn't have dye right through it. And I don't think that the camera would pick that up, but it's just, it's not looking good, folks. <laughs> it's just not good. Other than that, it's drapey. It's comfortable. Um, just something wrong with this. And maybe it's this particular dye lot. I'll give it a shot. I'll try another one. But I don't know. It's hard to tell. When you first look at it, you just can't really notice by looking. And okay, this one's messy, but take a look at that. You can't really see. It looks just pleasant, pretty color. So that's that. So what else did I get? It's all sitting here and um, some of it I could use now. Some of it, it can wait and that's fine because it's really pretty. I just fell in love with it. I was in the store and I saw it. I thought I have to get some of that. But first, I wanted to show you I got three more uh, pound of loves and the interesting thing was that on the online shopping another thing that if you saw my uh, my video on online shopping and I was telling all the things about Michael's shopping experience that I didn't like there was one thing that I left out 
when I went to shop online for certain colors of the Pound of Love, it wasn't even listed as available in, in on the on the website. But when I went in the store, it was sitting there. And not just one, lots of it. So what difference does it make? Why can't I have those colors? So I spoke to the manager at the store. I gave her um, a scenario. I I basically asked her if I purchased the wrong colors online, can I come in and exchange them? And she was lovely, very understanding. She let me get the colors that I wanted. Um, and this is what I got. Now, if you watched my past videos, I made a cowl and hat set with this beautiful thistle color, so soft and lovely. Um, and I had to buy another one because I basically have very little left and I, I want to make sure I've got it. And just to go over Pound of Love, I love it. It's a staple. It's like the bread and butter in my stash because there's so much of it. I can pair it up with different colors and it's just wonderful to work with. If you saw that little red dress that I made, I did make it with the cherry color of Pound of Love and I made it with, I paired it up with um, an ice yarn and it just turned out so beautifully. So this having Pound of Love around is always a good thing in lots of colors. Now you get 1,020 yards and it's considered a four weight. Recommended hook size is a J or six millimeter for the knitters, the eight five millimeter um, needles. I'm not a knitter, so it doesn't mean anything to me. Um, it is 16 ounce, 454 grams. It's 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. I've talked about this yarn before. I can't say enough about it. For a value yarn, it is wonderful, really. I enjoy working with it very much. So I bought that color. And then I'm not really a baby blue person. Although this shade of blue is so pretty. This one is um, pastel blue. And I thought, to be honest with you, I actually like it better for a girl's dress rather than a boy. Um, although if you paired it with gray for a little boy, I think that would be nice for a baby. But I just know that parents today, at least where I'm located, parents prefer little adult colors like they want to dress their kids like mini adults and you don't see men wearing this color so um that's why i say it, it would make a really beautiful dress and i've got some ideas for that as well so um i'm not saying i wouldn't make something for a boy but it probably believe it or not wouldn't be my first choice not in this day and age but i just love the color so i bought that and then the other color i bought and I love that it's in the plastic, so I'm not taking it out. This is called Pink Salt, I believe. I'm sorry, it's covered up. Yes, Pink Salt. It's a peachy pink, and I really love it. It's subtle. It's like a subtle peach color, even though it's called pink. So pretty, and I just can see that in a lot of um, baby girl uh, garments but I can also see it in hats because it really is so pretty so yeah I'm not sure I'd wear that color because I I don't think it would suit me but um, it is a beautiful color so those are the extra pounds of love now I have enough pound of love for um, a lot of projects I bought a couple of Caron big cakes um, only one of this blue variety um, and that's because I wouldn't be surprised if there was more than one in the store but it showed that there was just one and I thought that's okay because it is a big cake and I could make something with it without a problem and this color is Nightberry and before I go into those colors it is a four weight and it does remind me of the cotton cakes, how it's wound so tight that it looks like one strand and it is a finer four weight. 
which I don't have a problem with. It is 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. Recommended hook size is five millimeter. And um, it is 10 and a half ounces or 300 grams, 603 yards, 551 meters. So you're getting a lot of yarn in this cake. And the colors in this one, I thought really nice masculine colors it's got the darker gray the lighter gray it goes into various shades of um, blues one has a little more green in it um, just really really nice it would probably make a really nice um, striped sweater for um, a boy or even a man if he's into the stripes so um you know, I'm I'm okay with stripes. Again, like sometimes I like to do my own color changes because it gives me more flexibility. Um, I would probably tend to do half the garment in one color, maybe do solid. Uh, like I have a little girl sweater that I did the top being very busy and the bottom in white. If you've seen that one, it just breaks it up instead of making it look busy all the way through. And I tend to like that better, but I did like this colorway. And the other color I really liked um, is this toffee brickle. So again, Caron Big Cakes. And I know this has been around a while, so you may have seen it. New to me because I haven't tried it. But look at the colors in that. The, it comes out brighter on this camera, but it really is more of a, a darker shade of the gold. It's not. It's coming off pretty bright here. Maybe if I turn off this light, you can... Yeah, I would say it looks more true to this and um, there's the grays and the rusty red and the orange gold and that beautiful teal. I just think it's so pretty and I once saw um, a garment made in these colors and I fell in love with it. I'm wondering if it was this one. I tried to recreate it with other colors and it just <laughs> was a huge fail. So when I saw this, I had to buy it. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it yet and it may wait until the fall, but I just thought it was really pretty. So I just, I got I think three of these and just one of the blue. And then I saw this in the store and I fell in love with it. This is Karen Chunky Cakes in the colorway Myst Mystic Chip. It is oh so soft and squishy. And again, these have been around, so you may or may not have seen it. Really, really nice. 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. This is considered a bulky six. And look how soft that is. It just looks so fluffy. I just love it. Um, recommended hook size is eight millimeter. And I believe there's a pattern on the label. This one looks knit, but that's okay because there's all kinds of patterns to work up this gorgeous yarn. And look at the colors. It's like there's a, a brown and there's some lighter blue and some olive green it's in there hiding um i see it more on this side let's see if i can get that for you you can see the green in there and that beautiful shade of blue and that gorgeous shade of teal going to the taupe and then the minty green um, I do see some color splash. I hope that's not going to be a major problem. Otherwise, back to see the manager. <laughs> but I won't be working this up for a while, so hopefully it's okay. And, you know, I mean, maybe that splash will give it some, some character. I'm not sure. As long as it doesn't look dirty like the other one. I just don't like the way that cotton cakes looks. But... These colors are so pretty and I bought three of these. This one has um, 
297 yards so for a bulky a super bulky six i'd say that's a good weight you can make something substantial it's 9.8 ounces or 280 grams and 271 meters so a few of those and then i saw this and i fell in love with it i don't care if it's for the winter i can wait this is Caron Sprinkle Cakes, and this is the color Dewberry Plum. Look at that. Different shades of plum and gray, and that might be a charcoal, close to black, um, and almost like a bluey gray and some browns, and with the flex in it. I just saw it, and I thought, I have to have that. So this one is also a bulky, super bulky six, recommended hook size, eight millimeter, hand wash, lay flat to dry. So that's a little inconvenient. And honestly, I just noticed it now. I love the color so much. I probably would have bought it anyways. And I'm guessing the reason is the flex because I've seen that with other flecked yarn. And I'm guessing that if you put that in the washer and dryer, you're gonna lose all your flex. So um, I'm just checking it. It does come off. So I'm not really sure how that will wear, but hand washing wing flat to dry will keep those flecks on there a little bit better. This is 77% acrylic, 20% wool. So it's got some wool fiber and 3% other fibers. I'm guessing that's the flex. No knowing what that could be. The flex are pretty, they're white and like a deep plum color and there's some that are like a taupey color I don't know if you can see them all really really pretty and it's 193 yards or 176 meters which again for bulky six is a nice size so you can make something nice with that this is from the collection called the lovely layers collection and that's the suit the sprinkle cakes okay two more yarns well one more two different colors i had to try this when i saw it in the store this is woolies thick and quick which i'm sure you've heard of before beautiful beautiful yarn but what caught me was the color and it's flecked it is raisin look at that with the flex in it i fell in love with it i had to have it so i bought a few of those and this is 70 77 percent acrylic 20 percent wool three percent viscose i'm guessing the flex are viscose so maybe there's viscose in the sprinkle cakes as well but this is Lion Brand, and I have to say, based on my experience, Lion Brand has not disappointed me. I would say for the big box store yarns, Lion Brand has been my favorite for a while, and I've gone to the Caron Cakes, uh, the Caron Yarns, but mostly Caron Cakes, um, and I still consider lion brand of the big box brands to be my absolute favorite although i do like premiere as well so i would say those two are my favorites it's not always easy to find premiere i don't spot it in michael's um, but when i was dealing with aberdeen's a wool company which is a little store little company in canada they had lots of premiere so so that was good and you can go straight to the premiere website as well so this is six ounces 170 grams 106 yards or 97 meters this reminded me of my toy box yarn um as, but it is bulkier so that's why it looks bigger but just that bulky yarn with not a lot of yardage but you know that it's going to go a long way because it's bulky and it is machine washable and dryable in spite of the flex so lion brand hats off to you you figured it out and these flex tend to come off too. I'm not sure how it will work. Like, honestly, um, it's always nice to hand wash or at least put on a hand wash cycle, gentle cycle, just to preserve your work. Because let's face it, we put a lot of love 
into our work and we want to preserve it for as long as we can. So we may not want to machine wash even though it specifies that you can. This is made in Turkey. I didn't talk about where the other ones were made. The Caron Sprinkle Cakes is made in India. The Caron Chunky Cakes is made in China. The Caron Big Cakes made in China. Caron Cotton Funnel Cakes made in China. Caron Cotton Cakes, I believe that's made in China as well. Made in China. I tend to like the ones made in Turkey. I find the ones made in India, they tend to recommend hand wash, which is fine. Maybe they're just taking better care of their of their fabrics. And I just happen to like Lion Brand. And I do like yarns made in Turkey. But that being said, I don't when I like a, a yarn, I don't tend to look at where it's made. So there you have it, all these yarns. I just wanted to show you one other thing I've been doing. I have been making a blanket with loops and threads braid big and here it is and I kind of got sidetracked um, by trying to make this summer shirt so two projects this one is taking a bit of a backseat but it is gorgeous it is a little bit stiff but the stitch definition is beautiful and um, I do like this yarn. The only thing is it was clumpy. It reminded me of lumps in porridge. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a nodule there. And I don't think when the whole thing is made up, it's going to be all that obvious. So I didn't concern myself with it. I took it as part of the character of the yarn. I would honestly say it's a character flaw. I think that there's an issue with the manufacturing of this yarn but that being said I still like it it's very cozy it feels so nice and warm to the touch um, I will get that yarn just to remind you here's one in plastic the braid big and it is a super bulky number six recommended hook size 16 millimeter I did not use 16 millimeter. I used a Yarnspirations pattern, um, a textured life afghan, which I will I will drop a link to that pattern in the description box, um, and it recommended a 10 hook. Now, Mikey from Crochet Crowd was the one who put out this pattern, and he used a blanket yarn. But the blanket yarn was almost, was pretty identical in the spec, so just the same thickness. I I think maybe the blanket yarn might work up softer, although you can't tell by touching the yarn itself. Uh, I And I also heard that this will soften up once it goes into the wash, so I'm not too concerned. And like I said, I just really got taken in by that pattern. I loved it. So... That that's great. So the rest about this yarn, it is machine wash cold, do not bleach, tumble dry low. Nice to know you've got a blanket that you can wash it, and it's 86% acrylic, 14% polyester. It's squishy soft. It's nice. I like it for a blanket. This is the color um, amethyst, and I've shown this a couple times. Really pretty, and I am just going to go overhead and just show you how these two items are to work with one the cotton cakes and this one and that will be it long video a lot to show you but i just wanted to combine them so let's do this i will show you quickly how these stitches work up how the yarn feels on the hook how it glides through the hook and and then you can give me your comments below have you tried these yarns do you like these yarns have you had the same problem with cotton cakes 
I would really like to know because I was very disappointed in the flaws in the dye in that yarn. So let me know. Have you tried the funnel cakes? Are you interested in trying the cotton, the cotton funnel cakes? Um, anything you want to tell me, I love to hear from you. So let's do this. Let's go overhead and I'll show you how it is working with these yarns. Okay, so I'm going to show you my experience with the Caron cotton cakes. Um, to let you see how it works up, I mentioned that the color is off, so I'm going to show you that again. I don't know if you can see it here. Can you see that? It's ridiculous. And see the difference in the purples? It's just um, not good. There's some other little places where it almost seems like there's a stain on it. So you'd be walking around with something clean on your body and it looks like there's a stain. But if it weren't for that, it's really a shame because otherwise it's nice to work with and it's got a nice drape to it. I have no problem with it. It feels like it'd be cool. So this one is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, as I said, and it has a cool feel to it. I love the um, stitch definition, but Unfortunately, this cannot be ignored. This is what's going on with this particular yarn. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I'm going to show you how it is to work with. I am using a I or 5.5 millimeter hook and although the um, label suggests a 5 millimeter hook, the pattern called for 5.5 so to get the gauge I'm using it but I have no problem with this I think it's perfect the way it is I really like the way that looks and so let me just bring this down so you can see how this works up and it just glides through really nicely I'm doing the extended single crochet and look at that, it just works out really nicely. And then I chain one. So I have no problem with this yarn. I'm quite disappointed about the problem with the color. And I am hoping that maybe it's a fluke, but the fact that I saw online, somebody else had the same problem. I'm kind of thinking this might be consistent throughout this particular yarn. So it's, it's really a shame that this is the case with this yarn. And also I will show you how it is to frog. It's very easy to frog. Although I do, I do think that, um, that it did catch on itself at one point the other day, but typically it's a, a breeze to frog. Let me show you now the loops and threads braid big. I'll show you how that works up. So again, um, with this uh, Caron Cotton Cakes, let me know if you've had the same problem. I think it's really a good idea for Karen to know if this is a common problem. Not great. I see some blue here in the cream, some purple, purple here. Um, there's some discoloration here and here. And uh, I saw some over here one point just yeah I don't want to keep repeating myself I know I am but and even here I don't know if you can see it but there's some problem with the dye and again the two colors in this it doesn't look like it's supposed to be like that it doesn't look like it's supposed to be two shades of purple because they're too similar to make sense so anyways that is that let's move on to the next one Okay, before I start, I had to get um, a new skein of the braid big because I just ran out of um, of yarn. I, I ended in the middle of a, of a row, which I have no problem with, I can add on. But I just happened to open up a package. This yarn came one skein in this bag. And this is how it came. The label was ripped. There was this curling ribbon in there, which I don't know where that came from. And then the yarn was round around like this, which makes me think 
that somebody bought it and returned it and probably they returned it because these are the clumps that I was talking about. But just the thought that somebody might have used it. I mean, why would it be wound around like that? So I am really increasingly unhappy with Michael's delivery of my huge yarn order. I just feel that that's so haphazard and sloppy to do that to give me yarn like that completely ripped label and wound up and again here are those chunks that I kind of think that somebody might have not liked that and given it back and I just I'm working through it but I didn't want this anyways let's try this yarn and again it calls for a 16 hook and I am using an NP or 10 millimeter hook. So um, I have no problem with that. I like the definition of the stitches. I don't think um, a larger hook would have done it justice because I tried a 15 and the stitches were just too loose. So now like I'm not really sure what to do with this. I'm going to have to probably pull it from the outside. I hope I don't find any surprises in here, but I'm just going to drop this on the floor and do it that way so I can spin that loose stuff away. So yeah, that's pretty annoying to be honest. I'm not happy at all. So hopefully you can see this. I am about to join. And I do have to undo backtrack a little so that I can do that join. I'll just undo it a little bit more. I'm trying to think, where was I here? Oh, uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. I have to turn this over. So I'm going to the back side. I was working on the wrong side of this for this round. So you won't be looking at that pretty stitch definition. This is the back of the project. I will show you how it is to work up. So just adding that yarn. And like I said, I mean, sometimes people are particular about adding yarn at the very end, but I don't, and I do tie a little knot. Hey, listen, if the clumps are in there, I might as well have a knot to secure it in place. And then I try my best to uh, work the ends in as I crochet. And so this is just a single stitch all the way across on this particular pattern. So I'm just going to carry that through and notice how I have my ends in here. And if it looks too bulky, I would take it out, but I don't see a problem with it. So I'm gonna keep those ends in and you can see how nicely that hook glides. And these large clovers, I mean, I do prefer a metal hook, but my larger hooks are plastic. These are the Clover Amour hooks. And if the, um, yarn has a lot of acrylic-y plastic in it sometimes you can feel that rubbing against the hook and honestly I'm not really feeling that with this one even though it is acrylic I don't feel or hear the rubbing so you might hear it a little bit but it just feels like butter as my hook goes through it So you can see it's quite easy to deal with and quite easy to frog as well. So I'll show you that. Really fast, really easy. So again, you know, there are pluses and minuses to this, but I think the thing that I find most annoying is the way it was delivered in such a shabby way. And I mean, those clumps, I'm gonna give you a closer look at those clumps. I'm kind of glad that I found this particular one to show you what it looks like. 
It is not good at all. So you can see that the yarn sort of got bunched up so it's thinner here. And then there's this big clump. So I'm guessing that could pull apart. Now, I did have clumps like this. I worked them into the project. Uh, I found more in my first skein than I did in the second one. So maybe it was just um, certain production period that they had this problem. I don't know. But I thought if I can't hide them in, I'm going to give it back. But I just let it go. I'm just being easy going about it. Um, I'm thinking a lot of people might have just returned it because it really is quite unacceptable. So that's it. Unfortunately, I haven't had a great experience with both of these yarns, although there's a lot that I do like about this one. And there's a lot that I like about the Karen Cotton Cakes too. So it's kind of disappointing. But I will continue with this blanket. And when it's done, I will show you it's not really all that noticeable those clumps and i think once it's worked in it's not going to start falling apart um but yeah definitely a problem with that yarn and i'd certainly like to know if others have had that same problem with the braid big okay thanks so much i have more videos coming keep an eye out and um i will see you soon bye for now mm -hmm.